Shalom, dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, and warm welcome into the Word. The angels herald to the shepherds in the fields, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to those whom God is pleased. As we welcome the second Sunday of Advent, pondering on peace, we thank God for sending His only Son to give us hope, show love, fill us with joy and bless us with His peace. We were God's enemies through our sin. Our sin is a rebellion against God. We declared war by living as if we don't need God, want Him in our lives, neither care about Him. Every single one of us chose a side in this fight and every single one of us chose the wrong side. And our choice was eternal. It was one of those choices with no do-overs. We rebelled and we can't do anything to make it right. We were at war with God and we had no way to make peace on our own. So God sent His only Son. It was our Heavenly Father's rescue mission for us. It's between us and God that Jesus came to establish peace where we needed it the most. Instead of punishing and destroying us as his enemies, God punished his son in our place so that he could establish peace with us and bring us into his kingdom. Because of that one starry night over in Bethlehem, where Jesus our Messiah was born, we no longer had to be God's enemies. It was that deep and immense love of God that was made flesh in Bethlehem that paved the pathway to peace. Peace that is worth celebrating worth singing about and proclaiming to this challenging world of ours today. Sisters and brothers, let us allow our eternal security in Jesus to guide us with peace this season and beyond. Let His peace guard and rule our hearts and minds every single day. Let us take this peace to the world that desperately needs it. Let's proclaim God's peace to our neighbors and our nation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we turn to you on this second Sunday of Advent together with Mary, the Queen of Peace, with Joseph, who journeyed to Bethlehem to deliver your peace. And we ask that you bless us with this peace. We make this prayer through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. A blessed Advent to all of you and God bless.